Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora Vargas. For those who don't know me and for those who do, welcome back. Today, I want to talk about um, really important for me because I've been struggling with this um, my whole life, which is why I've always struggled with my weight. So for episode three for my Finding Me project, um, it's also finding out what goes on in our, you know, not just mentally, but physically. Um, it is very, very important that um, for me to show you both cases in this um, scenario because I just want you guys to have an open mind um, of everything that it can either be easy to fix or it can go a little bit more harder. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about my gut health. So for a lot of people including myself it has been a very hard journey for me to to lose weight and sometimes i can go to the gym a month straight and i can still be the same or i can barely even be losing any weight and the thing that i've been educating myself in this is the fact that you know having a very good gut health is a big game changer to your weight um so i just wanted to put out there what i've learned there's this is just part one um i will have two parts on this or maybe even more but this is just information and then we're gonna start the process i believe that that's for part two um i do want to put out a warning that before if you are deciding into anything before um making any changes to your diet or implementing a new treatment make sure that you discuss this with your um dietitian or your doctor um because it's very important that you know you kind of know the risk of it and you know what goes on in your body because my body is very different than yours obviously so i can have a very different reaction and you can have a very different reaction so um like i said i do want to mention the very important because i don't just want to put out there that oh let's just um change our our diet and that's it you know i do want to put out um some risk or not risk but other issues that there is with the gut health that is a little that goes a little bit in more deeper than just changing a diet so i don't want to take the importance of it but i do just want to have like um Oh, how do you say it? Like, I do want to have both ways that it's um, as simple as, you know, just changing your diet. But for other people, it's not as simple. Um, another thing that I want to um, say is that um, don't self-diagnose. Um, I'm definitely just doing research. And while I was doing the research, I was like, oh my gosh, I have this. And oh my gosh, I'm... Um, I can relate to this but at the end of the day what I've seen when I covered my whole information is that I have a little bit of everything that I'm gonna be talking about so it's like okay it it's not this but I can relate to this but then I have this so it's like don't self-diagnose yourself um, like I said I did put out a warning before you do any changes or before you decide to do any changes make sure you um, you know you have a little bit more of information with your body and what goes on so make sure you to talk with your doctor so um so yes now putting that out there i can start giving you information and what i found um there's typically three problems three four problems that i found that are kind of like risky and um that is called SIBO i don't know if i'm saying it correctly hold on SIBO SIBO Yeah, it's SIBO SIBO Okay, I'm saying it right Yes, the first one is called SIBO And um, SIBO stands for Small Intestinal Bacteria Overgrowth um, Which is also known as Blind Loop Syndrome Um so the causes for SIBO is um, SIBO stagnates food, stagnant food in the 
bypass small intestine become an ideal breeding ground for bacteria. The bacteria may produce toxins as well as interfere with the absorption of nutrition. Nutrients, sorry. The breakdown um, products following bacterial digestion of food can also trigger diarrhea. Okay, that part I don't think that was very important, but um, yes, I guess that it just creates bacteria and bacteria also produces toxins, and then sometimes it just doesn't absorb the food or it can absorb that um, toxins. So um that's the first one i have symptoms which is loss of appetite abdominal pain nausea bloating an uncomfortable feeling of fullness after eating that's that's an obvious thing like everybody feels full but it feels like painful type of full you know um diarrhea and unintentional unintentional weight loss sorry i cannot speak sometimes unintentional weight loss or, or malnutrition so those are the symptoms that i found for those i am i am going to put um a little um website that i that is a trusty website i don't know if you guys ever heard this but if it ends in dot gov or dot um org those are the ones those are the links that you want to trust the most they're more trusty um so this is from a mayo clinic.org um you can find this find more symptoms if you want to educate yourself in that um a little bit more um so that's like one thing and like i said at the beginning when i was doing this research um i was kind of self um you know um diagnosing myself because i'm like oh my gosh i have abdominal pain i have nausea i have bloating and i'm like i feel really full and that's how i know that i feel like super full because it's painful it, it's not just like oh i'm like food coma you know no it's it's really painful so that's why i said i do not do not diagnose yourself i'll repeat that again so that's like another further um a problem it goes a little deeper so um yeah make sure you speak with your doctor before any doing any changes the next one is weight gain or it's called leaky gut um it's a pretty weird um i don't know it's pre it's it's pretty weird but here it means that the gut is leaning is wait, what means that the gut leaning is damaged and cannot optimally optimally function optimal optimally whatever it doesn't function as a barrier any longer um the smaller uh holes become larger and allowed and allowed harmful substances like gluten bad bacteria and undigested foods um particles to enter your system and cause uh consider whatever it causes damage to your health so um that's basically what it is <laughs> it's very it, it's very that's a lot of that's another thing that i kind of was worried about because i do not gain weight i just i can't seem to lose weight at all so um i can literally be eating right i can exercise every day and i can still see the same i feel like the same size but um that's why i kind of i i was kind of worried about it so that's why i kind of want to do this video and put it out there because it's not as easy to just lose weight for it's not as easy to just go to the gym and, and do cardio and kill yourself with cardio when there's other things um deeply going on into your body that you kind of just need to understand but i'm putting a link enton.org gives you a little bit more information of the symptoms and stuff like that um i did not write the symptoms of this but um i'm also putting a brazilian article on obesity which is also talks about the le leaky syndrome and um i'm also gonna put it that that link down there and it ends in gov so pretty trusty <sighs> okay the next one is um celiac celiac disease 
Um, I do want to put this out there that um, I also do have another um, website into it if you want to look a little bit more further into it. But when people create have celiac disease, um, um, and they eat when people have celiac disease and they eat gluten, a protein found in wheat um, and other substances, their body mounts an immune response to attack the small intestine. These attacks lead to damaging um, something. It's, it, I'm gonna spell it out. It's V I L L I, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say it wrong, but that's why I'm spelling it out. Small finger light projections that the line that line the small intestine that promotes nutrition absorption. When that um, that word um, really really whatever gets damaged, nutrition cannot be absorbed properly into the body. So kind of relatable to the leaky the leaky gut. They're all kind of connected to each other in some some way. Um, so yeah, um, I did not write, I believe I did not write symptoms, um, but I did write some symptoms that are kind of relatable to that, um, goes a little, a little bit more further, which is IBD, it's an abdominal pain, severe diarrhea, weight loss, a fatigue, fever, and bloody stool, um, also can be IBS, um, abdominal pain, bloating, cramping, constipation or diarrhea, mucus in the stool or excess excesses excess excessive gas, I'm guessing. So it's celiac, IBD and IBS. Um also relatable to all the gut stuff. I don't know why I'm doing that, but it's also relatable to other the other gut things. Um I do have um links in all of these and then lastly, um, if you are the person, if you're the person like me that I'm starting to notice this a lot in my daily basis is headaches. So you know that you know your gut is just not healthy when you have a lot of headaches. And that can also be contained into, you know, stress, your everyday work like for me my my work stresses me out so that can also be it um so that's why i didn't really put um i guess not so much yeah i guess i just didn't put a lot of importance into that but that's another it's another like symptoms or another problem that can that can tell you that your gut is not healthy um i also do want to mention that celiac celiac is um passed by your ancestors meaning it's in your dna so if you do have that that means your family um had it before so it, it just comes with you um so yeah i just wanted to mention that out because i had it written down here so um so yeah, um, I also do want to mention that if you are encouraged to speak to your doctor, to your dietitian, um, just make, when you make your appointment, I'm going to give you some tips that were written here by the Mayo Clinic on like things that you can do before your appointment. So um, write down all your symptoms, um, including when they started and how they change or they worst over time bring your medical records make a list of all your medications write down a key personal information um take a family member or a friend along and write down questions you want to ask the doctor um i do have the link right here um like i said it's from the mayo clinic it's going to take you directly to the to the leaky gut i believe that's where it's at no it's not it's connected to the SIBO um but it also gives you sorry you got cut off again <laughs> um so i really like this website because it also kind of um 
helps you out it gives you um questions that the doctor is going to ask you that way you go a little bit more prepared and you know you have answers for that so basically when you go in to get checked out for a SIBO or anything related to your gut um they give you the questions that the doctor is going to ask you so you can go a little bit prepared and you know what to say um so yeah um that is that is kind of wanted to give you guys to show you guys that it's not so easy or um it cannot be as easy to just go into the gym and work out for two hours for some people is that easy but for others it isn't especially for me i've struggled with my weight my whole life um I've stayed either the same weight or I gained up to like one or two pounds, which is not a lot, but over time, one or two pounds, they go accumulating, right? But um, I've always had this issue and um, yeah, don't self-diagnose yourself. I will repeat that again. Do not self-diagnose yourself. And before you try any um, treatments that you see in these websites, um, make sure you speak to your doctor is very important. So that's my next step is if I do want to start seeing a change in my body and just in general want to be more healthier, I made an appointment with my doctor and hopefully I can record that because I definitely do forget what they tell me. So it's more for me than for the channel. Um, but yeah, um, that's my next step to speak with my dietitian or to just basically get a dietitian because I don't have one. Um, but yeah. Um, so yes now um if you feel like you don't relate to any of these and you just um or if you've simply just spoken to your doctor and know what goes on into your body and seems everything to be okay with you and you know you just want to know or want to get healthier um in general just don't know how to start um i do have another website um another website link here that is called healthline.com um it's called unhealthy gut and it basically just kind of gives you a little tips on how you can start to you know healing your gut um because when your gut is not healed it's inflammated and that's why you have a lot of pain that's why you can't you know what i explained you can't lose weight so what it gave me here to just kind of start is lower your stress levels um chronic high levels of stress are hard on your whole body including your gut so it's very important that you're relaxed, you know, or that when you get off of work that you do some meditation and, you know, just take it easy throughout the day. Um, get enough sleep. Definitely eating slower. I know for a fact that my boyfriend, he, you know, he only has 30 minutes to eat. So he's always eating so fast. Um, so just make sure you eat slower, you know, enjoy your food, kind of just... Um, remember, I, I don't know if you guys remember on episode 2 that I mentioned just stay in the moment. So just kind of like enjoy the taste of your food. Kind of like, you know, take a moment to really enjoy your lunch time, you know. So there you go. Um, stay hydrated. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Um, if your doctor told you that it was okay to take any prebiotics or probiotics, take them. Um check for food intolerances and change your diet if you have to um or if you need to you know, really by checking your food um intoler intolerance um that's basically my next step which is um journal all the things that you eat and write down kind of how what it made you feel and start eliminating foods um well this food made me feel like this or just kind of switch up to a more healthier version of it i guess something that doesn't have gluten free but still have that food that you want to eat you know um for me example something just doesn't have sugar um something that has more fiber or something that ha that is gluten free for sure um you know less carbs so that's something that I'm, I'm gonna start doing or that yeah that i'm gonna start doing that's very important to me so just i'm gonna be writing down all the foods that i eat throughout the day and see how just kind of they made me feel you know wait an hour or two and then write down um 
sometimes obviously you don't see the changes but you make sure you're just having them writing down and be like okay this doesn't sound very healthy maybe i can switch it up with this um so what i wrote down for my things that i've searched the good things that i can eat is some type of meats fish eggs um i can eat crackers that are gluten free unsweetened cereal um spaghetti squash or summer squashes i don't know broccoli um heads only uh leafy greens carrots rice or gluten-free noodles olives peanuts potatoes pumpkins and other type of seeds so those are the things that i've written down that um for my understanding those were more healthier for me um and as you can see here less gluten so yes that basically that's what i search for i'm slowly going to be removing a lot of things obviously you cannot just quit cold turkey um so obviously i feel like during the weekend i'm gonna have my normal foods but i'm still going to journal it so that way you know i can i can later on eliminate a little bit more and more and more um i know that it it's probably not gonna be like some say some really interesting video but in order for you to find yourself you have to find yourself not just mentally but physically you know understanding your body understanding what goes on to it understanding and kind of get in mind what you put in it and you know take care of it you know it's your sanctuary it's your safe place um so yeah that's why i thought it was really important to speak about this um in order to find yourself you have to find yourself completely you know mentally and physically so i hope that you guys um got a little bit of information of this i'm sorry if i scared you <laughs> but i do have some links in it that are very trusty links if you have any other informations or any other questions put them down below i will read them and pass you a link or another link that i think it's um very much a little bit more helpful or if i have the answer i can let, definitely let you know um but besides all of that make sure you speak to your doctor but i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video um make sure you guys subscribe to my channel share my videos and like my videos stay tuned for my next video um stay safe and yeah i'll see you on my next video bye